All right, friends, here we are back again for another party. Um, I have come to the store and totally left the box out in the hall, so I'll be right back. But you can see we're pretty much where we left off. in there in a bit. I'm just doing a thing. All right. Um, I once again made sure that it was in the box while I was at the store. So, you know, make sure you do that. It's my only recommendation after what happened to me, as you guys all saw on live recorded video with minimal edits because I a don't have the time B don't have the patience and C have been focused on doing this build in a way oh my gosh this is like ugh. you have to insert these at like a 30 degree angle Typically, there it goes. The freaking graphics card in the cooler make it so hard to do on its own. You just really. Come on, baby. gonna work for us. Oh, and I lack the screw to screw it down in. I only had this um, standoff for my other board. And all the way. Barely off here. Okay, well, our other option is to just go for the standoff with no screw because I don't have one. It'll be fine held in by the heat sink. Suboptimal, but it works. It's a little agitating. It's like off by a millimeter. Could be that I just have this oriented wrong, but it's I do. Let's see if I can tighten it just a little bit. Oh, I think it needs to be loosened actually. Um, maybe this might have been over torqued. So we'll try that. Doesn't need to be in there hardly at all. Just enough to kind of hold in place. <clears throat> and it's plastic on uh, silicon here. So.
There we go. Come on, baby. That's not raw how it should go. I don't know why it's being so problematic. I mean, this is where it's supposed to sit. I just, it's so aggravating. It should just slide right on there. PC building at its finest right here. Let's loosen it just a little bit. It's like barely in there now. At some point, I think the right answer is to just Unscrew it. Push this down. Oh, come on. This is why you make sure you get a magnetized bit, by the way. I can see that it is it has the it has the proper lip. Oh my gosh. Get a standing desk. Just a height desk, whatever you want to call it. Oh my gosh. The magnet just All right, now it's in place. It's exactly where we want it to be. Tighten it down. That's how you uh, back the car into the garage, so to speak. <laughs> Not at all how you want to do that. All right, we'll just remove the heat sink now. The thermal, uh, the plastic on the thermal pad. Place this heat sink. Lined up. Okay, this one, I'm not sure that that Q connector is all that helpful if it what does is that. All right, we're secured. Okay, so this one's done. Uh, we're gonna box it up. Get ready to go downstairs uh, and install it in the TV or behind where the TV is going to go. Um, just make sure to have all the cables properly routed. I think we're just going to be doing HDMI right now. And there's nothing like, like when you get a case like this compared to the one you had when you were a little kid, you're like, wow, this is so cool. There's a place to route my cables. It has two-tone colors, tempered glass side panel, and then you crack open a Be Quiet 802 and you're like, oh my gosh, this is torture. How did I ever work in this case? <laughs> it's just, uh, don't buy something really nice unless you can keep buying nice things. I guess that's the lesson in life. All right, here's that standoff. So we still had a standoff that I could have just sat the uh, the SSD in, but it, it could have moved laterally, and that's a little anxiety inducing. Granted, the thermal pads are a little bit sticky, so it would probably hold in place. 
Um, but I just don't want to mess with it. And I don't want to have problems in the future. I have to make sure all that works. We can do that at a later date at a later time. Right now, we're gonna call this one good. go say goodnight to my son in just a minute but first things first let's pull this down Have our 802 mining operation so I put all my random bits in here and now I'll just sort through them later it's a good way to just have everything Ugh. Uh, I don't like to use my screwdriver for it. I just use like a pen cap. These. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. I've waited for you for a long time. I mean, I ordered it like October 29th. They just never fulfilled my order. Black Friday, Cyber Monday rolled around. They had a sale. I asked them if they could reduce the price so that I could keep my place in line on the prior one. They told me no. So I just bought a new one. And then I was like, okay, well, I'll just wait for whichever one to go through. And then take it up with customer service again. This one shipped within 48 hours of that order. My original one, which had been in line since first couple hours of launch still hadn't shipped so I said screw it as soon as this one hit the mail and I got a tracking number for it uh, I just went ahead and canceled the original one and I have been all the better for it let's just make sure it's the right one uh, working for H170i elite LCD extreme performance 420 millimeter LCD liquid cooler whoo it's a mouthful um, I'm just going to remove the panels for a couple reasons. One, we're going to be finishing the build here imminently. And two, these things are fat, thick, and heavy. So I just want them out of the way here. to lighten the load on the computer and, and the desk. Okay. Now. Let's play another game of, will this AIO fit? Electrostatic discharge to ruin my GPU. So this is basically just an unboxing and making sure that it like laterally fits and latitudinally and longitudinally fits, I guess. And a couple different dimensions. So we need to make sure all the fans fit. So many fans. Everybody loves having so many fans, you know? That's to blow cool air, blow hot air your way if you catch my drift. <laughs> your jokes are hilarious, Gun Gaming. Never heard anything so funny. Oh, Pasha, of course you have. Okay. 120 mil 
pleats. Well, they have the Corsair printed so beautifully on top. These don't even like show the, oh, there we go. Okay, these go on their side so the cables can be routed through the side here. We're out those in a second right now. Just doing the basic sizing tests. I'm not even gonna stress out about quarter placement too much, although it doesn't even be out of the way so that they can fit. Lengthwise, looks like we're in business. Uh, obviously, the case said it fit these, but never hurts to be ultra safe with this kind of thing, in my experience. Oh, yeah, we have plenty of room. Oh, you have to slide up just a little bit. Yeah, not even an issue. Plenty of room there. Okay, this is another um, Commander Core. Allows you to control the fans on the RGB together. Now this one is supposed to be like 50 millimeters. wider I don't think it's gonna fit oh no it goes all the way to the base here yeah this should fit we're just going to have to basically take the graphics card out which is not super appealing um, I'm gonna remove the fan tray first just because I know I'm probably going to have to do that anyway. I wish that Be Quiet made this, um, the chassis a little bit more, uh, how should we say, fungible, operatable, words, words, words. All right, we're just gonna do what we did last time. Prop that right there. Not like my favorite way of doing things, but serve its purpose. Holy hunk of hunk of burn in love. Uh, I don't really need to remove the plastic on that quite yet. Do need to remove the plastic on this. Jim Bonnie Christmas. Yeah, I don't see a way to do this. Oh, who knows? We might get lucky here. Kind of have to kink the, the cords, which I don't love, but got to be done. Ho, oh, oh, ho! And we are in! Plenty of cable slack. Okay. 
Muy grande delicioso. Um, yeah, we're just gonna have to like rotate these a little bit in the bottom half in order to get these. Oh, we can actually do these on bottom now. Oh, that's gonna be glorious. Uh, easy peasy there. I love the rounded screen. Okay, we're just gonna slide this back in the plastic just to... Nothing else to keep it from banging into other things and breaking those things. Um, but hang around for the next video. We'll be installing it. Um, just had to make sure it fit. My heart is racing. I was worried I wasn't gonna love this look, but holy crap, I love it. Uh, looks awesome. And we have this totally open to do two 140 mils on the back side, which I'm stoked about. Uh, the cable management's gonna be a little bit of a bear for those ones, but we might be able to tuck them away behind some of these panels or something. We'll, we'll figure it out. But the, I think I think it's going to be doable. It's just a question of how do we do it. And uh, I'm not worried. There's, there is going to be a little bit of distance there because this will be pulled all the way up to the side here. Oh, this is sexy. So sexy. Such all computer nerds here. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, stick around for the next one. Uh, should be a good one. Till then, good luck out there. Have some fun. Keep on building. Bye for now.